pills are perfect for her. <laughs> perfect. Thank you so much. Of course. Okay, got the flowers. I am in a very much like busy area. Like the train station today, I've never seen it like that. I don't know where all these people are going. Nonetheless, got the flowers. And my train to Queens doesn't come for another like 40 minutes. Who knows? I don't know what time it is actually. So I'm just waiting here until I go down. There's nothing really to do because I don't want to eat anything because we're going to brunch and I had like a granola bar when I first got on the train. I made it. I nearly missed it because I went to the restroom but I'm trying to keep it down because it's very quiet. But yeah, it should be there in about 15 minutes. And then I'll take a Uber to the restaurant and I should get there in perfect timing like 10 minutes before it starts. So. Hopefully, I'm not the first, and hopefully, I'm not the last. We shall see. I really appreciate you all coming here, especially on last minute notice. Um, and I appreciate all the love. That you we love you! I'm about to do one second. I'm about I'm about to do a face mask. I'm not sure which one because guess what guys? I am going on a date today. Um so I'm about to do a face mask. I actually have breakfast coming because I ordered delivery. I was just being lazy today, which was kind of my goal was to get up a little later, lounge around, but I believe my sister and I are having a business meeting in like 30 minutes, so we shall see. Um, now, I don't know which one. Glow, hydrate, refine, and brighten before a rendezvous. That sounds like perfect, honestly. But this one says, brighten, restore, hydrate, and depuff, and wake up your skin. That actually sounds great, too. I'm about to do the depuff. I think it's upside down. The Depuff face mask right now uh, while I wait on my coffee because I haven't had any coffee, which reminds me that I need to order some capsules for my Nespresso maker because, like, I've been missing it. Like, I it's honestly, I love a mask like this. Honestly, as I said probably before, that Dr. Jar is my favorite rubber mask, but Loops is quite good and you get more bang for your buck like the doctor jarts are like so expensive but still my babe i'm just gonna rub this in because i'm actually probably not gonna do my skincare until later just because i don't want double do it um and i'll be showering and stuff like that so i'm gonna just do this for the morning time since it is like a serum and then worry about actual skincare later since I'm not going out until the end. Got the goods. Got my cup stairs. Okay, I got a decaf iced caramel coconut latte with almond milk and an extra shot because I thought it would be lighter than that. But and then I got this like lemon pastry that I probably won't eat right now. Can't do anything one handed. I really just got what was this called? The egg, but I replaced the regular egg with vegan egg, added arugula, and had them scoop it out. And it's on a rosemary salt bagel. So I'm about to have my latte. Let's see. That's how it looks. Very simple, which is great. and stuff but I'm running behind it is 5 16 I'm supposed to be meeting him at 6 p.m so I have to do my whole face in like 
let's say 30 minutes. It's okay to be fashionably late to a first date, right? Oh, so we'll see. Anyway, I need to cut on some jams and get this party started. Okay, running late. My Uber is downstairs. I haven't taken my hair down, but this is how we look. Hopefully, it's good for a first date. Gotta go check in later. Bye. What's up, guys? I just got home from the office and I'm getting ready to open a package that I got from my sister. I already know what it is, but I wanted to open it on camera because it's very exciting. Um, it's a birthday gift actually um, from my sister's boyfriend and she should never tell me what it was, but she wanted to see whether I wanted her to send it or bring it with her when she came back. Hold on. She wanted to know whether I wanted her to ship it or to bring it with her in October and I was like, I cannot wait that long because a lot of the season will be over by the end. So I got I don't know why she put them in trash bags, but I guess she wanted to protect it. Thank you for that. The first one. <laughs> Lewis Hamilton shirt. It's like photos of him. And it's going to be crazy because I'm going to need another one, obviously, when he no longer drives for Mercedes. But very cool very cool indeed and there's another one it looks like i don't know what this one is i knew that i was getting that one but let's see what this one is this one it's uh it's just the f1 t-shirt very cool and it has this formula one established in 1950 on the back love this i love a good white tee it's just crazy because they never last long so I'm gonna do my best to take care of it. Um, I love it, I love it, I love it, I love it. Hello. Welcome to a new day. Honestly, I don't remember what day I last vlogged on, but I know that I was getting ready for a date. Um, and since then, we've already gone out on a second date. So I suppose you can say that it went well. Um, I'm in the rush <laughs> and I'm just brushing out my hair. My Uber is on the way and I'm going to the nail salon because it is time for a new set. I'm going to get these soaked off. These are Gel X um, birthday nails and I'm going to get them soaked off and then get actually do acrylic this time possibly. Like I really love the shape of Gel X but um, yeah, I want them a tad bit shorter. And I think that acrylic will have like more ability to shape them. Um, but we'll see what she says. Actually, I'm going to go with my nail artist recommendations because I don't think she would steer me wrong. Okay, guys. I'm a terrible vlogger these days. Um, honestly, it wasn't because I didn't want to take out the camera when I was at the nail salon. It's because... My nail artists always be having these crazy stories that I feel like is not that appropriate for YouTube or at least I don't want to put her business out there. So I really just was vibing out, listening to music, listening to her stories, but I wanted to show you guys what I got. Very basic um, compared to what I got for my birthday but and I wanted to do chrome but she did the french tip thinner than I was expecting so it just didn't look great with the chrome on there so we just went with plain which is good because I'm supposed to be going bowling in like the next week or so so hopefully this length I won't break and it's easier for me to type so I'm happy that I got them shorter this time so it is 407 my date is at 7 30 and I typically need two hours to get ready so if I need to leave the house around 7 o'clock 7 10 to get there on time 
I need to start getting ready at five. So I'm about to change out of these clothes since I sat in the nail salon in them um, into like a robe, into something comfortable, um, watch some TV and relax until it start, it's time to start getting ready. Um, I have no clue what I'm gonna wear. So I actually need to try that on beforehand, even before I start getting ready because I really don't wanna waste time like I did on Thursday, picking an outfit right before I leave. So I have contenders um, and actually I have a few pieces that I picked up that I wanted to show you guys. So let's go into the dressing room. Um, it's very bright, but yeah. So I picked up a couple of things. I'm not wearing these cause it's a first date. So I feel like it's a little risque to booby, if you will, not risque for a first date. So. I got these two halter neck tops from Urban and I just tried on the blue one and I fell in love with the silhouette on my body. It doesn't show the boobs off too much. So I got them in two colors. Um, I got this sweater, which I'm still on the fence about um, to go with like jeans for like more casual um, outings, like, you know, some sneakers, some flats. And also got I got a white top from Urban, which I wore on a date last week. So it's in a dirty clothes and I can't show you guys. And then I got this black skirt from Anthropology, but I took it back. Actually, I got one other thing. I got the black skirt from Anthropology, though. I didn't really like the length on me. And it was something that since it was like a one of those bubble skirts, it was really difficult to think about how I was going to get it. Um, Taylor, so I took that back. But I also got this deep um, razor back dress um, and it doesn't look like much off the body, but it has like this sort of like drop waist. It's a very structure, structured tailored sort of like fit, but the material is thin and nice. Um, the only caveat is because I'm short, I need to get it shortened a bit um and i'm gonna take it this week to get that done because when it's time to wear a sexy dress i want to i want to be able to wear this baby before it gets too cold out um so yeah i got those things and now i'm about to put together some outfit ideas for later um i have things hung up i just don't know the pairings yet and then i'm going to relax so i'll check you guys when I decide what I'm wearing. All right, peeps, I am officially dressed. Makeup done, hair done. I usually tie this on my edges until I get there. So that's the reason why it looks like that. Obviously I showed you guys the outfit and it's really no good way for me to show you right now. The vest, the jeans and the black shoes and the Burkini purse, and he is gonna be there five minutes before me. I'm gonna be there three minutes late, so <laughs> sorry. I've been really bad about showing up on time to date, so I don't know if that's a, I need to work on that, basically. Anyway, I love how it came together. I wasn't sure what I was wearing um, up until, you know, when I showed you guys, so I'm happy it came together. This is a nice, casual, end of summer, sort of like first date look. Um, about to go um, because my Uber is like two minutes away. So I either will check in about the date or I won't, but I will see you guys though on another day. Bye. <laughs> Yes. Currently, and so 
Yeah. And then after dinner, he wanted to go to this other place and have drinks. So we walked a block or two to this.